Good morning, everyone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And so, we begin this liturgy with the signing of ourselves in the name of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So this is Trinity Sunday. Uh, immediately after we've kind of finished Easter, Pentecost, church gives us two more feasts, Feast of the Holy Trinity. God, the divine, in our midst and in our lives. And then next Sunday, the Feast of the Body and Blood of Christ, or Feast of Corpus Christi. As we come before God, as we come into the presence of the living God speaking to us here and now in this place, nourishing us with the body of Christ, we remember the mercy of God. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came among us to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us now at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You alone, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification made known to the human race, your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that professing the one faith, we may acknowledge the Trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of Proverbs. Thus says the wisdom of God, the Lord created me at the beginning of his work, the first of his acts of long ago. Ages ago I was set up at the first before the beginning of the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no springs abounding with water, before the mountains had been shaped, before the hills I was brought forth. 
when he had not yet made earth and fields or the world's first bits of soil. When he established the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he established the fountains of the deep, when he assigned to the sea its limit, so that the waters might not transgress his command. When he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him like a master worker. And I was his daily delight, rejoicing before him always, rejoicing in his inhabited world and delighting in the children of Adam. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord, our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. O Lord, Lord, our God, God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what is a man that you are mindful of him, or the son of man that you care for him? O Lord, our God, How majestic is your name in all the earth. Yet you have made him a little lower than the angels and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands and have put all things under his feet. O Lord Lord, our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. All sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O Lord our God, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of Truth comes, he will guide you into all truth, and he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. first words of that gospel passage, Jesus shows his profound appreciation and compassion for
for our humanity, for the depths of our human nature. I still have many things to say to you. You cannot bear them now. Shows, Jesus shows a deep compassion for us in our lives. Many things that uh, will come to us eventually in our lives, but we're really not up to it now. And so when we are 10, 20, 30, God doesn't reveal to us or show us everything that's ahead of us, everything that will unfold. And if you're in grade eight at this time, God's not going to show you the whole path ahead of you. It would be too much to bear at this particular time. Very conscious of that as I have passed my 60th anniversary in, in priesthood. Back 60 years ago, after I was ordained, if God would have shown me everything that would have unfolded, I know it would have been far too much for me then. Same with you in your marriage or in your single life, in life in general. Jesus is saying, I'll be with you. And the spirit of truth will teach you and unfold for you as the years go on but not all at once, too much for us to bear. But this passage also, when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. And so we must be prepared as well as we move through the years of our vocation and of our life to really accept and to move with these joys and sorrows, griefs and anxieties, to use the words of, of the church, that uh, will come, that the spirit of truth will lead us at those times. It is a challenge to allow that to happen in our lives. The world different around us, the church, may be different around us. How many years ago, 55 years ago probably, I was stationed with a pastor who was very well respected as a priest, as a pastor, as a, particularly as a, as a preacher. And then came all those changes in the church of the 1960s, asking him to say mass not in Latin as he had, but rather in the vernacular, in English for him, and to say mass facing the people, plus a myriad of other sorts of expectations and changes, and he was not up to it. And he lost all confidence in himself. He left the preaching to his two associates, I was one of them, and I had a really serious breakdown. I recall seeing him in the living room of the rectory in the middle of the day, simply sitting there crying. He lost all confidence in himself. And then he retired early and died young. Challenge, and this we need to know remind ourselves, I should say, that this is the word of God. I will not, I have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now, but the spirit of truth will be with you as they unfold. This is not a history book, we remind ourselves. This is the living word of God, speaking to me, speaking to you at this particular point in your life, in my life. But it isn't just 
our individual lives. The same is true of a group, an organization, same is true of countries, same is true of the church, that uh, things can change as within the 1960s and continues to do that, but we have to trust and know that the Holy Spirit will be with us to guide us into all truth. It's true of this parish here of Our Lady of Fatima, isn't it, at this particular time? Our challenge, our challenge, not just mine, at this particular time in Our Lady of Fatima Parish, our mandate, not just my mandate, but our mandate is to allow the Spirit to face new things, to call us to new expectations in this parish. There's a strong Portuguese foundation, but those who planned and built this parish on back, the truth that would unfold later, even at this time, they couldn't bear it then. But now we are called, we are called to a new vision of this parish where it will be all inclusive. It will have the foundation of the Portuguese culture and faith that came here and that will remain. But at this time, I believe the spirit is calling us to expand and to uh, invite in and to enlarge this parish and this community. I have a great vision for it. Spirit of truth, I believe. It is our mandate, not just my mandate, to move ahead and to make this parish all-inclusive, to bring in a whole new group of people on the solid basis of what has been built before. We rise to pray, so we ask God to give us the strength and give us the courage and the wisdom to allow the Spirit of God to help us to unfold, to inspire our lives. For the church, that we reach out to all who have been excluded and marginalized, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For peace, justice, and tranquility, where there is violence, unrest, and injustice, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the earth, our common home, that God will guide us in protecting the air, the land, and the water, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families, particularly those who are struggling to survive, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all facing addictions and the people who care for them, that God's healing spirit will open them to new sources of strength, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are frail and elderly, for those who are alone, and for the sick, especially Dale Calkins, David Tessier, Modern Bondette, Lachlan McDonald, may their trust in Christ bring them healing and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Chris Mason, Gary Wilson, 
May they rejoice forever in the kingdom of God's risen Son. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we carry silently within our own hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Creator of all things, our God, we trust you to lead us into the future, to give us minute by minute your spirit and your support. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now I invite those who are bringing the gifts to the altar and the candles for the altar to move to the back to bring those forth at this time. that our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Sanctify by the invocation of your name. We pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in confessing of true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance, their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, with whom they never cease to cry out 
and with one voice they acclaimed, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, all the clergy, and all of the baptized. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare now to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy keep us free from sin, and safe from all distress as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power, the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us turn and offer each other a sign of that peace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Amen.
my sisters and brothers in Christ, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called now to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. One. 
Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. I would invite you to pick up some materials or anything that seems to be available there at the back because there are some things coming up in Feast of Corpus Christi and also over these next weeks here at Our Lady of Fatima. So I don't think I welcome those people joining us live stream, so uh, I welcome you now. And uh, as we finish this liturgy, I want you to know you're very much part of our community at Our Lady of Fatima in Kingston, Ontario. I noticed some people that are over 60 maybe here, so there's a real challenge for us too to trust God into the future. I always say at my best, God's done a really good job of looking after me up until now, so I guess I'll trust him from now on too. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ.
sun. 